today we will be seeing about quality planning yesterday we saw how quality management module is integrated with other modules right and now today we will be seeing about the quality planning in sap we call it as master data and we will see in detail what is quality planning why it is required what is master data and what are the master data we have in sap that is important to proceed further right or to run any quality management related business process so what are the master data that is important so if we just quickly see the uh, content for this training so we had covered introduction of business process we also covered integration with other modules as per in a roadmap i will uh, tell you a bit later because that that will make sense to keep in the middle of the session or towards end of the sessions i will tell you that later now we will be seeing this quality planning and master data so we will see in detail what is quality planning right. so let's say any material that you want to inspect don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos what is for so let's take any material you want to inspect you should have a plan in place how we are going to inspect how like say what is to be inspected what is to be inspected how to be how to be inspected how much to be inspected right what are the properties or parameters inspect so this is quality planning when you take any material first you should know okay what material to be inspected right and how to be inspected how we are going to inspect that material that means there's a material number probably material identity for that particular physical part how to be inspected is a procedure or inspect method or our so sop or the user manual or inspection manual that we will call it as how to inspect so procedure then how much to be inspected that means they will be not inspecting 100 percentage in all the cases so for example if you are buying 100 materials you will take sample right so you take randomly okay i will check five samples and uh, i will inspect so that is how much to be inspected out of what i have received now this is sample right what are the properties to be inspected or the parameters to be inspected is inspection characteristics inspection characteristics right so now <clears throat> how this are considered in sap so considered material will be 
material code there will be a material code yes and procedure is called in sap as inspection method inspection method then sample this is called as sampling procedure Uh, this is called as same as inspection instead of just inspection characteristics they call it as master inspection characteristic don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos characteristics this is the technology Going forward, we will be using SAP terminologies. Okay, so please, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask. Otherwise, keep this in mind. And this is the equivalent. Okay, I think this will make more clear. So, material code, and in material code, we will tell. I will show you material master QMD. I'll just write. I will show you what is QM view. So material master QM view, inspection method, sampling procedure, master inspection characteristics. So these are called as master data in SAP. Why it is master data? For any material, we will plan this once because it's a plan, okay? We will not do planning every time. We will just plan and set the data. Okay, this is the material. This is the inspection method to be used. This is the sampling procedure to be used always. And these are the parameters to be inspected always. This, the word always is very important. That is, that is why that makes as a master data. You, master data means you will you will create this data once once and will be used forever okay that is why it is a master data in sap okay what are the master data we use in major material master qm view yes for that material master we will set in the qm view okay this inspection type is required and you know this inspection type should be activated and this is the procurement control to be done with this material that is one time activity okay so that is why it is a master data we will not do every day we will get up and we will not change this master data and we will because it's, it's a fixed data right because for particular material if you decide that yes this should be inspected when we purchase and you don't need to change on every day right periodically you might be having recommend to change but not every day so or not much maintenance will be required so those are called as master data so inspection method yes once you decided okay this is how you are going to inspect then you will not change every time so these are called as master data so apart from that there we, there were few master datas that also we will see now we will see one by one this master datas material master qm view now we will see what is material master qm view in sap now let's go into sap and see how this material master will look like okay so if i go into sap right if if people who doesn't know or not never ever seen sap screen to log in this uh for this training also there will be access provided i i i hope it might have provided already so it will navigate to the screen once you go into the screen the remote desktop you will see an icon called sap lock on okay also you will see a fury link we will talk about fury link bit later 
now we will understand from sap gui this icon we will call it as sap gui don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos yes when it yeah so that will not be changed every time there will be certain process to be followed to change any master data okay good so now this is what i was telling is this is this we will call it as sap gui graphical user interface this was being used till uh, the x4 ana was introduced so this is the classic erp of sap then this is the advanced one that is s4 ana theory now we will see both but now we will see this gui so if you double click on this yeah system will pop up the screen this is gui screen log on pad so you can double click on this one so now it will connect to login so now you can use your credentials okay so this is how you will get into system 